Hey guys, uh, this is Fix It John. What we're working on today is a Xbox One uh, power supply. Uh, we'll open it up here real quick. Initially, I opened it up and looked at it, and I looked at the first thing I'm looking at is the circuit board. Is there any burnt? Uh, solders or a crack soldering that could uh, but the first thing I saw was these capacitors they were blown out blown up and bulging see that one there bulging tops bulging on it okay here this is what I, I saw this capacitor here you see the top bulging on it that means it's bad it's as Got too much heat to it and heated up and has bulged up. This big one here is bulging and it looks like it just started to leak there. There's a better angle of it. See those two on the left? So I saw that last week and uh, I was going to put an old uh, capacitor in from an old circuit board I had from a TV. Uh, but I couldn't find the exact one. All right, here's our capacitor we're gonna be replacing the old one with. Uh, it has 4,700 uh, microfarads and 16 volts. Uh, when you replace a capacitor, you wanna make sure it has the same capacitance as the one you're replacing. So like the 4,700 uh, microfarads and uh, 16 volt capacity. There we go. The capacitance in this one is uh, 470 microfarads and uh, 25 working voltage. And when you're replacing the capacitor, make sure the lead spacing between these two legs are the same width. Otherwise it won't fit in there properly. One more thing I wanna point out, there's a negative side and a positive side. So make sure you uh, note the orientation that the capacitor that you're pulling out is. This one is the negative side, hence the line right here. So you don't want to flip flop it or it won't work. We need to remove, we've already removed this one and we need to remove this one. But before you do so, you need to identify which one of these prongs is holding your uh, capacitor down. And I have identified these two prongs here. You, you also need a soldering gun to do this job. But I'm going to heat this, uh, and you don't want to get it too hot and run that solder from this joint to that joint, or you could cause a short and uh, it would never work properly again. So I'll be tugging on this capacitor with my fingers as I heat uh, this side up. I'm putting the heat right on the lead there. And there it is. Voila. Okay, it, it does have a positive and negative uh, identifying, uh, identifying marker right here. That's a negative and that's obviously the positive side. But we did mark the... Uh, Mark the uh, spot up here so we would remember that was the negative side. See right there. So yeah, let me show you how to uh, measure the uh, microfarads on a good uh, capacitor and a bad capacitor. See if the capacitance is uh, up to par. Anyway, I wanted to show you how to measure the uh, microfarads in these capacitors to see if they're any good. Uh, First you need a multimeter, something like this, and uh, turn the range down here to microfarads. That's what you're going to read. This is, this is supposed to have 4,700 microfarads, right on the positive side. And it's reading 825, 804, 770, it's just pretty much all over the place. Now here's the uh, new uh, capacitor, 4700 microfarads with uh, 16 volt operating range and 
we'll set the black on the negative post and the negative and see what kind of reading we get. It'll take a minute. 4887. So uh, this is well uh, well within range. Uh, it's better than it's supposed to be. Now, if this was 10% uh, below uh, the 4700, uh, they allow for uh, that sort of discrepancy, uh, minus 10% of your uh, total value here. Now, here's the uh, micro uh, capacitor that uh, has a 470 range. Now, let's see what this old one, this bad one, will read. 200 out of limit, 260, just two something, pretty much all over the place. That's not a good one. Now I've got one in here that I crimped a wire so I could hold it a little easier. We bought the pack. Uh, black on the negative, this again is, uh, should read uh, within uh, 10% of 470 uh, microfarads and uh, and the voltage is uh, 25, 25 working volts give it a minute 452, 444, 445 uh, it's uh, 470 uh, microfarads so it's uh, well within the 10% 10, 10 uh, range there. Now he, now my son purchased this online and uh, I told him what to get, but uh, I neglected to tell him the uh, lead spacings, make sure the lead spacings are the same. But they're only off by a little bit, but we'll make it work. So I changed my tip here so I can uh, make sure I can get my leads through these holes. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Let's see if I can, uh, if this one will push through. Yeah, that one went through. Oh, nicely. Now, ideally, you'd want to put this in a vise, but uh, for practical purposes here, I'm just freehanding it. This closes right back up. And what we want to do, put a tea tiny bit of solder. Tea tiny bit of solder on these legs here. So what I did here, I just took some solder here and rolled it up the, uh, the leads. Just to give it some uh, adherence so the solder on the board will adhere to it better. Negative side towards the big capacitor. And I'm just gonna push it in there. Can you see that? Push it in there and sort of tweak it over a little bit. It doesn't fall through. Heat this leg up here. And drip some solder right down in there. Voila. You can move it with the gun. You just don't want to do any damage to that circuit right there. To this solder right here where it's running. We will snip the uh, legs off of it. There's one. And there's two. Three. 
first two. Just sort of using that as a flux. All right. Try to get this baby down in there. Remember, negative on negative side, positive on positive. There, right in there. Now, sort of bend these leads over so the solder has a tendency to run down them. I heat it up a little bit first. You want to heat it up on the leg on the lead here and the heat will run down to the solder it will heat this area up too and drop a bead on here oh. and just hold it for a second and off now you saw that little bead jump over there, it didn't do any damage, so we're good there. Put some heat on that lead there, the heat close to that joint we want soldered. Voila, perfect. All right, we'll snap these leads off now. Should be good and cool. Let's put it back together here and uh, see if it was a fix. So remember guys, uh, this is Fix It John. If you like this Xbox One uh, power supply, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> uh, and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.